Hey, welcome. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm gonna do like a little funny story time. If y'all seen this, then I watched it back and I think it's good. Even if it's alright, I'm but if I wanna see me telling a story and how it sounds, like I'm really good at writing stories like fiction, but I wanna see if I tell that like personal story if it's really good or not. So set the scene. Me and my friend at this time is called her Jamie. My friend, she was graduating school. Let's say nursing school, which I got to change, tweak it. So, my friend Jamie, she was graduating nursing school, so she was having a graduation. So, the day of, you know, I walked my typical one to run my errands. So, one of the errands that I ran, I went to the store, and I got like a, like a jacket on, and like, so I got stuff in my pocket, my keys in my pocket, my phone in my pocket. So, I go in the store, I come out the store. I pass like these group of guys, workers, like me, I don't know what they do, but they were clearly working on something, so I pass them or whatever to get to my car, put the groceries in my car or whatever. Either I went to look for my phone to text or maybe use GPS to go somewhere else, I don't know, um, but basically I looked look for my phone, so I looked in the car, looked in my pocket, looked in my purse, couldn't see my phone, I'm like, okay, well... Let me go back in the store, maybe uh, to get out and left it you know, on the counter, or maybe, you know, somewhere in the store or whatever. So I went in the store, I, I asked around, looked around, didn't see anything. And I came across, you know, one of the workers, and I, um, she was like, oh, you can uh, use my phone. And she was like, you know, she was a little bigger. She looked like a stud. I don't know if she was a stud or not, but she looked like her hair was low. She was a little bigger, and obviously she was dressed. She worked at the grocery store. She worked at the grocery store, so that's how she was dressed. She was like, oh yeah, you can use my phone. I call your phone, see if you can hear it, or somebody pick it up, and you know, they can tell you what it's at. So, I call. I heard a Mexican, a Mexican male talking on the phone, in Spanish. And I'm like, like, where's my phone? Where, 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 where are you at? Where's my phone? Mind you, he stayed speaking Spanish, so I don't know what he's saying. Um, he probably speaks English, but you know, probably pretended to only speak Spanish. So he's speaking Spanish, yada yada. So I'm like, okay, do you know somebody that speaks Spanish? Well, I'm asking the girl, um, do you speak Spanish or do you know somebody that speaks Spanish? She's like, oh, let me go find out. So she went to find somebody in the back. We gave her the phone. She got on the phone with the dude. She got on the phone, dude. They talking back and forth. Like I said, I don't know what they're saying. She talking back and forth to him. She said, oh, yeah, he said he has your phone. I said, okay, where he, where, where, where is he? She was like, oh, well, he said they left, and they left the, left the store, and I said, so he left the store with my phone, and he knew it wasn't his phone? And she's like, yeah, oh, he left. He said, well, he said you can come get it. You can come get it to whatever, wherever he's at. I said, okay, what's the place that he's at? So he, she wrote it down, right? Mind you, I also used the girl phone to call my mother, but for some reason, you know, we in panic situation or heated situation, you literally can't think. Like my not, my mother is the only number I know by heart. Um, so I'm like, I can't remember her, and I'm dyslexic, so I just can't remember for some reason in that moment. I cannot cannot remember her number, so I called, I called. A, num a couple numbers and I'm like this is not her number and then I called again I'm like okay I think this number and I think I left a, you know, a voicemail like hey this this cause my mom ain't gonna pick up a number she don't know something hey this da 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 this 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 cause mind you I need the GPS because I'm not somewhere familiar so I don't know where I am I'm bad at direction I'm horrible like, everybody got their good stuff about them or bad stuff about them I am horrible with direction I don't I try I can't get from point A to B MapQuest was the best thing to get a in it. I don't know. If I had to look at a map back in the day, I would have been lost. I don't know nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, location is not my strong suit. How to get to where to get to is not my strong suit. So, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get to where I need to get because I don't have GPS. And I definitely wasn't going to be able to get to where, wherever he said because I don't, I'm not going to know how to get there. You can tell me, do this, do this. I don't know. I need MapQuest. It's horrible. Or I don't know if you did it. Maps. I got family members now. They still be looking like at the maps. They'll be on map quiz. They don't even look at the direction. They look at the map. I'm like, oh, y'all are professional. Y'all are professional drivers. I don't know. But, um, 
So he, the lady wrote down where he was. Mind you, gave it to me. And mind you, my phone. I don't remember when this was. I don't know if iPhones was out of time. I'm, I'm assuming that it was. So it wasn't a high tech phone. It was very bullet. He wasn't gonna get no money for it. And so it wasn't like some, a phone you need to steal or a phone that you could sell and get money for. It literally was very bootleg. And mind you, I think like I dropped it on the floor and it didn't break. Spoiler alert to the story. I dropped it on the floor and it didn't break. So it's one of them bombs. Shout out. So it wasn't nothing even going to get no money for it. And if I had a lock on it, unless you could bypass it that quickly. I'm pretty sure my mother called, probably called my mom too, and then it's like our picture probably popped up, and you know, it's a like mom or whatever. So he, just makes. But anywho, wrote down a number. I'm like, I'm tell, talk to the girl. Let's call her. Um, Cleo. Let's call her Cleo, child. Cleo. She like, I'm like, okay, this where they, this the place they at, but I'm like, I don't know how to get there. I'm like, I don't know which, I don't know how to get there. So, I mean, it's a place that I don't know how to get there. She's like, okay, well, you can take my phone to use GPS. I said, you going to let me take your, mind you, I just met this lady. She don't know me. I don't know this lady. She let me call, use my phone to call my phone. And then now she's telling me that, yeah, you can take my phone and you can take my phone and um, go to the place with your GPS. I'm like, you only take okay. He was like, she like I, I trust you, child. You you, you 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 look cool. You look cool. Look like you'll bring it back. I'm like people, child. People are very they very unique and generous. But she was like, yeah, you look cool. I, I'm I trust you. You bring it back whatever. I was like, uh, and she saw that I was looking skeptical. She's like, you know what? She said, you take the phone GPS. Said, I'm going to follow behind you. I said, you about to you leave work? She said, yeah, I'm about to get off anyway or something. I don't know if she said she's she about to get off or if she can take a break or something. She said, basically, she can leave. She's like, okay, you take my phone GPS to the place and I'm going to follow right behind you. Because uh, she knows, too, it's like I'm going somewhere I don't know to get a phone. I don't know where they're telling me to go. Like, they could try to murder me, track me. I don't know these people. Mind you, I haven't talked to my mother yet because, like I said, I think I got the wrong number. And my mother don't be che checking her voicemails. She don't be taking her, checking her text messages. So she she ain't call me back. Then okay, I'm in the car. She she start following me, whatever. I DPS up on so driving, driving, driving there. Oh, backtrack really quickly. I'm gonna come back to that part. But backtrack, back, 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 backtrack. It was another that's her uh she had a, a guy friend that worked with her. But the dude he like she good, you know, she she got that life, she she got that thing going, y'all be good, whatever. So I get in the car driving, driving, driving. I'm almost at the place, my she behind me. I got her phone and GPS. My mother calls, I was like, I know her number now that it's a registered chap. Panic mode, dyslexic mode, couldn't think of it. So she calling me. I called her twice. That's how she knew to call me back. Cause you know, you call somebody twice. Then they know scam callers can call you twice back to back, not from the same number. So if somebody calls you twice, you're like, oh, this something ain't, something ain't right, something's wrong. So that's why she called me back. She haven't heard, she didn't hear the voicemail because she had been checking her voicemail, her text messages. So she'd be two days late. She called me back when I was almost there, but I couldn't answer because I'm GPS and I'm literally almost right there. So we pull up to the spot. Mind you, I didn't even park in a parking spot. I don't think she parked either because she was right behind me. And I think it was like at a mechanic. She, they weren't at a, the do wasn't at, at a mechanic place, but it was like next door to a mechanic place. So we walked behind the building or whatever. And, you know, we asked some people, mind you, it's Mexican dudes there, but there's also white dudes there. So it's like a whole group of dudes. And mind you, obviously, this is a group of dudes that I passed, and they see me drop my phone and picked it up, but then took it. They didn't even say anything. And it's, like I said, it's not an iPhone, so it wasn't like, it wasn't no reason to do that. So I'm walking, mind you, I know this sounds sketchy in the middle, like, oh, child, what is going on? I'm trying to kidnap me, track me. Mind you, they could have been thinking anything, but they didn't know she was going to be with me. Obviously, because I was by myself at the store, so they didn't know that she was going to be with me. Mind you, if he only speaks Spanish, it was dudes next to by him. Like I said, it was white dudes there. Mind you, I'm looking at all of them crazy. I got an attitude, obviously. I'm looking at them crazy. They probably like, oh, it's not saying nothing to this girl. Like, you know how you people be smiling like, ain't nothing funny? I ain't, this ain't funny? Look, he took my phone. You just smile like I'm smiling at you. No. And y'all with him too. So y'all a part of it too. 
Like, don't be smiling at me. Um, so she like bop right behind me, like behind me almost. You know, try with her head on a swivel. And um, I don't got a gun, but I think at the time I had my, had my mace. So I'm like my hand in my pocket. And so I got the phone from the dude because you know that everybody pointed me out to the while I said it was him. He had my phone, gave him attitude out the park. After, after part attitude because obviously because why did you do that like you just ruined set my whole day back because you're doing stupid stuff well, you didn't have to do that because if you want to keep the phone you wouldn't even answer the phone so what was the whole point of that it's like I'm not getting mad out of again but um it'd be different you just want to steal the phone okay cool you want to steal the phone but to do all this extra stuff and make me alter my day for what literally for what Oh my gosh, you're annoying. Um, mind you, after, shortly after that, I got a new phone. I would have been cool with the loss of the phone, but I needed the phone right then because, like, I had a lot. I had a lot to do, other stuff to do. Like, yes, I had to go to her graduation, but even after, I had to go to that. So I was gonna stay in that part of town, and you know, until probably like late to the night. So I had a whole other stuff to do, and I had it planned. So I didn't plan for that. Obviously, you don't plan for like stealing your phone or whatever. Um. It'd be different if they just pick the phone off the ground and they don't know where it came from. They literally, they knew it was me that dropped it. They saw, they literally looked at it. They probably saw it fall out of my pocket um, and pick it up. They could say, hey, hey, this your phone, but they didn't say that. It wasn't like they just found a random phone on the floor, uh, on the on the ground. And like I said, it was you just like no one a good phone because it didn't even crack. I don't know why they, why he did that. I tried to hack the phone and try and then you know, and then like I said, I got, soon as I'm paranoid, so I changed all my paranoid passwords and stuff. And shortly after that, I got, like I said, I got a new phone because it just, I wasn't going to feel secure with having that phone. I get the phone, she see why me, we both walk back to the cars, I think, or whatever, because she, she didn't have to do all that. I'm surprised she even did all that. And me telling the story, I'm like shocked that she did all that. So, shoot, take through your story. My hair might be cut off, so I think I left out the girl, we, you know, saying. Bye, whatever. I'm going our separate ways. I get home, drop the groceries off. Cause obviously now I got my GPS. And mind you, I'm behind schedule. Mind you, like I said, I had to drive an hour. This has set me back so long. It don't seem like it was that long, but keep having to first of all look for the phone at first, and then find somebody, then call in the number, then get the, get the dude to finally say where he was, and then having to drive to where he was. Like so, it just it pushed my time back so drastically. Um, so, I didn't have time to do my hair. So, I ended up having just to put a hat on because I'm running super, super late. I'm um, trying to get there. Um, whatever. Because so I would have been left. Other. Like, I'm not a person. I'm not, I don't be late for stuff. Um, it's, like, and if I am late, it's just something because something like this happened. Like, it's very rare that I'm late. Um, and then, too, you know, like a lot of women be late because, one, they don't be Knowing what they're gonna wear, I already pretty much had ideas of stuff that I wanted to wear, but then you know, sometimes when you put it on, it don't look how you want it to look, whatever. So, the setup it on didn't look like how I wanted to look, but it kind of just was what it was. I didn't have time to keep changing, so I just, whatever I had on was kind of what, what, uh, what I changed into. And then, because obviously I came from Aaron, so I had to take a shower, and whatever I put on, I put on, and just couldn't keep changing it out because I only had so much time. So, then I couldn't do my hair. You know, yeah, braids is easier just to go, but. I had to actually do my hair, but I had set up time to do my hair. But since all this stuff happened, I didn't have time to do it anymore. So I ended up having to just put on a hat. So mind you, I don't like how I look. I don't, don't like what I got on. Because my hair is not done. I have a hat on. I have a fedora on. But you know, it was me at the time. I have got a fedora on. So I'm already having a bad day. So I'm having a bad day from him doing that and me having an attitude because he don't took my phone, which cause what was the point. So I got an attitude already. Um, don't like how I look. Like, I don't like what I got on. I don't like it. My hair not done. I'm just very much over. Mind you, I'm just a graduation. So, you know, you're going to be taking pictures and you're going to be seeing people. Um, and also, we were doing something that night. And I wasn't coming back home. My attention was to come back home because I had already drove far for that. And it was all in the same area. So, it was already the plan to stay out that way before everything happened. Mind you, I let her know, boom, boom, I'm going to be late. Before I, like, when I, as soon as I got in the car, like, I had to be late. She tell me, oh child, I'm late, running late too, I'm late too. I said, what? mind you, she, Jamie is always late. She's literally late for, late for everything. 
I don't think she's ever been early to anything. When I'm with her, she, she made some late. Like she's always late. She's she's never on time for anything. She's never early or never on time. She's not been late to everything. Any big thing you can think of that happened in your life, she's been late to. So, she's like, she late to. Hilarious. N knew, knew that was the case, but obviously, graduation not going to wait on you. So, if you late to it, you, you late to it. If you miss it, you miss it. I'm talking about her, not me, because I'm not going to graduate. But, me, you know, doing everything I train, trying to get there, looking at me, still getting there anyway. Um, already bad day. So, a lot going on. So, I finally get there. Mind you, it was way past the time that the graduation was late. I text her, like, oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm finally here. She texts me, oh, child, I just got here five minutes ago. Mind you, she stays close to where that graduation was. I stay an hour from there, and maybe over an hour. Depending on traffic. I'm just rambling to an hour. She turned, oh yeah, I took her five minutes ago, child. So my child come in, I'm not at with friends and family and nothing because um we late, so I just faded to the back, whatever sitting in the back. Um they still talking, mind you, like whatever, like whoever maybe was number one in the class or like the teacher, they still talking. So literally shortly after I got there, they start calling her names to walk. So she you know, she ended up she saw saw her walk whatever. Then after me and her brother got on the same exact outfit. Crazy. He got on just a male version of what I got on. Hilarious. We took a picture. I don't know if I'm putting it in here or not. If I do, I'm going to have to blur them or like crop it. I don't know. I didn't like I, said, I didn't like how I look, so I might not put it in here. But mind you, then, I, I don't like how I look, but it's her graduation, so obviously I'm taking pictures and stuff. Don't like how I look. I feel like I look an ass. Um, that child, I don't know what I went through together because I didn't tell her what happened. I just said, child, I'm running late. I might have said, Somebody took my phone and I lost my phone or something. Something quick. Like, like I said, I was trying to get there, so I didn't have time to really explain. So everybody go their separate ways to then we gonna meet at a, a, a restaurant. So I'm like, her brother like, I'm like, dang, I really don't like how I look. And then we gotta go to dinner. I feel like I'm looking a mess. And then um, we should do for friendship chat. Like I'm looking a mess. I'm like, having a horrible day. So he come back with me. To my house, my he came back with me because I didn't want to drive. I had already drove all the way. I've been driving all day. I didn't want to drive, so he drove me back to my house. I, I didn't even say that I had ended up calling my mother, you know, telling her what happened to me. But so talking, trying to talk to her about getting ready. I forgot to say that part. But we go back to my house so I can change whatever. Did I change? Actually, I don't even think I changed. I think I just did try to do something with my hair. So I didn't change, I just did some on my hair. And we drove back to, so we got all meet at the restaurant because it, it was later on, later on at night. So we did that. Then fast forward, like maybe a week later or whatever, you know, I sent the girl like a, you know, like a little gift, gift card or whatever, um, thanking her and stuff because she didn't have to do all of that. But yeah, that's her time. The part two.